a warm welcome to my next video today our topic is the use of english language in debate and group discussion and group discussion or gd as we call it is an integral or an important part of all competitive exams now please note that i am not presenting a group discussion or debate but just emphasizing on the language structures that we should use in such situations okay now remember a gd or a debate is an intellectual competition it is not a war of words so the words that you use should be courteous and polite and a gd actually tests your listening speaking and thinking skills so you have to be very careful about the presentation you may open the conversation or you op may open the gd by a greeting good morning ladies and gentlemen with your permission i would like to open the scene by saying that and then you introduce the topic now you are proceeding with your facts and you would like to emphasize something or support a point support your own point what will you say i'd like to emphasize my point that and then you can say it in a very firm but polite tone and you can be more credible by citing an example like please look into this example to support my point or you may even say to be more specific this is my point and if you want to add a little more and your time is getting over you can just say that you may ask for some more time what will you say i would like to get some more of your time here are my examples please and then you can just cite your example now you see that the group is diverting from the topic you have to get them back how do you do what do you say friends your arguments are widening and i think we are straying away from the topic perhaps we should return to the given topic that is you can't force them but you can very in a very calm and quiet way you can just point out that they are going away from the topic they have to come back it should be very firm but polite now when you put in questions there is a probability that your question is not understood properly or you had asked a question and you didn't get the answer to the point then we have to repeat our question for that we'll have to interrupt them what shall we do you you can just say perhaps my question was not clear what i asked was and then you can repeat the question still you didn't get proper answer to your question so what do you have to do again very politely you can remind them i think you have misunderstood my question i would like to know and then repeat the main part of your question once again even after that you didn't get the enough points for your question then you can say sorry i need still more clarifications please there that sorry and please makes you a verb polite if your opinion is asked on something you must first thank the group thank you for asking my opinion i feel that or i think that and then you go on with your opinion in some occasions you may feel that you don't want to be interrupted so what will you say excuse me i request some more of your time i want to explain that and then go on agreement with someone should also be in a very uh, picturesque language how can we do it i'm glad to support mr q on that point because and then you can state your reasons for supporting him you just can't shout out i support i support no another thank you mr q that's a good argument you have put in and then you can go on to support him you can give your reasons another way you are so right mr q that is just how i too see it here you are being very earnest in supporting him but you are giving respect to the rest of the group also you can get the attention of others to mr q's argument how will you do that listen friends let's hear what mr q has to say about and then you can go on to present the statement disagreement with a person can also be done very diplomatically how you may say there are always two sides to a statement so 
Personally, I feel that I have to disagree with you. And then, I find that I am of a different opinion. And you can state your point. There you have been very polite. You will get the attention of the others of the group. And also, there will be a smile on everybody's lips. Because this disagreement is done in a very polite way. You may also use some more simple words like, uh, I see your point, but I am afraid I have a difference of opinion. When you have to face a disagreement to your point, how do you do it? You may say, I am sorry, you seem to have misunderstood my point. And then repeat what you have said once again. Still, if they don't agree and if you, want, if you want to emphasize your point or establish your point, what will you do? You can say, I imagine, words like I imagine, as far as I know or I think, I believe. All these things, they show an uncertainty. But if you are very confident about your point, you may say, I am convinced that or I would like to point out that. You can interrupt another person's statement. How will you do it? You may say, excuse me, that's an interesting point. Can I put in something? And then you express your opinion there. Or you can say, excuse me, I'd like to add something. Do I get the permission? If you need more details on somebody's talk, you can just ask them, excuse me, Mr. Y, could you please explain that? I didn't get you. You may also sum up the main points so far in between. At intervals, you can do that. Don't wait for the end. Why? So that they will not go away from the topic. That is, you can say, let me sum up the argument so far. And then just sum up the main points that all the others have said. Now, these are some of the language styles with which you can proceed a GD or a debate. You must remember that language presentation is as important as the intellectual points that you are presenting in a debate or a group discussion. Especially in a group discussion, your body language, the words that you use, the mode of your talking, everything is very important. So these are some minute details which we have discussed here. You have to practice it. So my opinion is that you form a group, take up any topic, Use these sentences what you have done now. Test these usages. Practice it. And all the best for any chance of a group, group discussion to win well. Thank you for being with me and subscribe please.